The Biden administration has reopened a facility for migrant children, and that move has been criticized by immigration advocates. The facility is in Carrizo Springs, less than two hours from San Antonio. Tiffany Huerta spoke to an immigration attorney and a community activist who worry about the children housed there and question why the Biden administration chose to reopen this facility. It's a huge step back. It is completely outside of what we expected with the Biden administration. Immigration lawyer Linda Brand Miller believes reopening the Carrizo Springs facility is unnecessary. Carrizo Springs is in the middle of nowhere in Texas, nowhere. So they don't have access to anybody. We requested a tour of inside the facility and an interview, but the U.S. Health and Human Services Department declined. Instead, they referred us to online information where it states that on Monday, February 22nd, the first group of unaccompanied children arrived safely to the facility. The center had been closed since July 2019. <laughs> We were out there in 2019 when dozens of protesters gathered to shut down the facility. <laughs> Community activist Rosie Abu Abara doesn't agree with its reopening. We're talking about lives, human lives, children, uh, children who, probably, who don't even speak the language or the culture. They, you know, they're coming here expecting a better life and we put them in prison. HHS says the reopened facility is available for children ages 13 to 17 who are medically cleared and it can hold up to 700 children. The department says this camp was needed because of the increasing numbers of unaccompanied children and additional space requirements needed for COVID-19. Data from U.S. Customs and Border Protection show that in January, more than 5,800 unaccompanied children crossed the border. As for Brand Miller, she has submitted a request to go on site and visit the children. It is important that they get immediate access to legal counsel, screening and consultation. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News.